Okay, so I'm at the top. It's pretty windy. The weather has moved in. Hello. So I'm back from Mull and what a great trip that was. Today though, I'm going back to what I know and that is the Lake District. I'm doing a walk that I've not done for a long time and it's up to the top of Haystacks Mountain. And it's in the Buttermere area. It's a really beautiful place. The weather is looking good today as well. So the sh there's lots to shoot up there, especially once you get to the higher levels, which is not always the case, but there's some great stuff to shoot. There's a tarn up there. I've got a sunset, little sunset shot planned as well. So I think it's gonna be a really good day. I don't wanna waste any more time inside today though. I've been loving the outdoors recently and that's where I wanna to get to now. Let's go. Okay, so as you can see, I have arrived and immediately I'm in a beautiful, beautiful landscape. It's a little bit windier than I would have liked, but that's not to worry. Uh, I should still get some good shots. The weather conditions, as you can see, are absolutely beautiful. It's great to be back in England, back in the Lake District, somewhere that feels like home. The Mull trip was amazing and I had a great time and I love going away, but you get a great feeling, don't you, when you come back home, back to somewhere you know. And that's true if you're a photographer or anybody, but I'm on a good day already. Windy, it's making my eyes run a bit, so maybe you can see me crying a little bit. I'm not crying because I'm very happy today. Conditions are great. So I'm gonna get up there, pretty close to it already, as you can see. It's pretty big in the background, so I need to get going. Right, I've stopped already. I'm not actually that high up, but I'm very pleased with the composition that I've got going on here. So I'm currently capturing a time lapse. Just look at this place, absolutely incredible, beautiful. How can you not love the Lake District? I'm not even that far from the car here, so it doesn't take too much effort to get to this point. So really, it is a place you must come and visit. One thing I'm a little bit concerned about today though, and I've talked about it before, is that when you start climbing these mountains, scenes start opening, opening up. And at this time of year, in the winter, when there's not much daylight, you have to be selective about what you're shooting. You just have to be. You can't just stop and shoot everything. That's why your plan is important. And that's, I've sort of deviated from the plan to capture this scene. Hopefully it'll be worth it. it. Just, it's important to understand the risk that you're taking because if I stop too many times, I won't get round to down to Buttermere to get that sunset shot that I'd been planning. And that's really part of my plan. It's what I want to achieve today. I think this one's worth stopping for, but we will see. Right, I just stopped in this frankly stunning, stunning location and I noticed a little composition just behind the camera there. As you can see the mountain is shaping down from the top right of the image to the bottom left and that is green with that grey rock and some of that yellowish sunlight on it. In the background against that is contrasted with the black and the white of that snow-capped mountain in the distance and I think it'll just make a really nice little composition. So I just stopped quickly to capture that as it grabbed my attention as I was walking past and I just it was handheld didn't take long so I've got the shot and I'm on my way again. This place wow I mean you go to some places and they're pretty nice but this was one of Wainwright's favourite walks and I can see why. Absolutely stunning. If you don't know who Wainwright is, I'll let you Google that. Right, 
Right, this float path is getting pretty tricky. So I'm gonna have to put the camera away. I'll see you at the top. Okay, so I'm at the top. It's pretty windy. The weather has moved in just around the time I reached the top. I know I'm shouting, but I feel like I have too much wind. I do have, though, the classic first man vlog now. 300 on a dodgy ground. 360 degree views all the way around. I can't stay up here, though. It's very long. It's very cold. It's very windy. Right, I've come back down because I wanted to capture this tarn with this scene in the background. I was hoping, or as the day went on, I decided this was going to be my sunset shot. But in typical fashion, the weather has changed almost exactly at the moment that I arrived at the top. I had the camera set up, as you can see there, and I managed to capture a long exposure of the scene and still managed to get some of that blue sky in the shot, which I think really makes a difference. It makes a difference to a lot of the shots I've been capturing recently that have been very moody and not a lot of blue in the sky. So, slightly frustrating. It was forecast to do this though, so I can't complain too much. It was forecast to cloud over, which is now doing. You can see the hill fog rolling in on the mountain behind me there, but it's still a beautiful place to capture. So I'm capturing, I've caught that scene there. I have captured another one over here now, which is exposing along exposure at the moment of the scene down there. That scene was very contrasty earlier, but it's actually helped me out now that it's gone cloudy because it's become much softer. There's still some blue and detail in the sky, so I should be able to capture a nice image over there as well. Right, so I think what I will do, given those clouds, is revert back to plan A and get back down and get into the position by Buttermere Lake where I was going to originally capture the sunset because I don't want to take the risk of staying up here and then not to be rewarded with the sunset because it'd be a miserable trek back down in the dark if I wasn't coming home with that shot. But I've got to get back onto the top to carry my walk back down to the car and then I'm going to get into position for that sunset shot. I'm in position for my sunset shot and this is actually plan C because the wind was absolutely brutal up there. It changed on me so quick and it became a little bit dangerous so I had to pack the bag, get down as much as I could uh, to get myself safe. I did get lost as well so it wasn't, wasn't always the nicest of times but I'm in this position now, I'm happy with the composition I'm hoping there will be a little bit of colour in the sky. It's exactly sunset time now. The clouds have come over, so hopefully I'm capturing some colour in that sky. I'm composed using the tree, uh, this tree here, and the rock here for the foreground interest, and then going into the scene behind me. So long exposure to try and capture all the colour in that sky and get some movement in those clouds as well, of which there will be plenty because it's so windy, as you might be able to hear. Anyway, it's still been a great day. If you're gonna come to places like this, make sure you stay safe, plan your trip, come with somebody, have support, and you'll have a great day. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe because there's videos going up every Sunday and every Wednesday, and before too long, there will be a vlog coming every week. It might not be always up a mountain like this, so it takes a lot of effort and it's quite hard. And after I say out, there will be a trek down to the ground in the dark. Anyway, I'm Adam. This is First Band Photography in the Lake District. Out.